All right, guys. Well, I had a couple questions about the heat on this car and how these controls work, which that's cool, you know. Everybody has a car like this, and uh, I'm old enough to remember that you didn't have vents back in the day. I'll show you on a vehicle in a minute. But anyway, you got your vent. High-low is a split. It's going to be, uh, I think what that's going to be is partial vent, partial floor. Heat is actually your floor. I know that doesn't make sense. So if I go to heat, slider all the way, and hit the blower, I'm going to have heat down here at the floor. Yeah, I do. Now, this slider up here is confusing because air is coming out right now. What that blue means is you're getting cold air or outside air. This is internal air. So see, now nothing blows. When I go to here, outside air. And that's kind of a throwback from the early, the first generation Hondas. And I think the second, they had a cal, they had a cal opening. And it was like an air scoop. And it was kind of cool because if you did this to fresh air, it's almost like having your air conditioning on. So, of course, cars didn't have, weren't real popular with air conditioning even in the 80s. So, it's kind of a cool thing. doesn't work as good on this car. I don't know where this fresh air comes from. Probably the cow. But, obviously, air blowing here you don't want because it's cold. It's bringing it from the outside. I can feel it. So, I'm going to switch it down. And now i got full heat. So, vent. Blowing straight out at me. High, low. is a split. Heat is your foot. That's going to be foot in defrost, and then most importantly, there's your defrost. And another trick with your defrost is Hondas, and I don't know when they changed this, but Hondas traditionally did not run the AC with defrost. So if you got, you know, a foggy window, most modern cars they run the defroster. In fact, they run the defroster quite a bit. You're going to want to, you're going to want to go ahead and engage that uh, with your defrost to help out, even if it's a cold day out. Even if you got your slider all the way farthest as you can go on heat, that's going to help pull moisture out of the car. Air conditioning always helps pull moisture out of anything. Uh, that's pretty much all I got. There's a question about the sliders down here. Side vent pull open. They're kind of easy to forget. I usually keep my vents. I keep them kicked out to the windows. But if you shut, if you shut the slider down. You got no air coming out of here, so you're really going to have vent on your, your two front, and that, that's kind of confusing the people. Got a real nice air blow out of there right now. Nothing here. Pull the vent towards you. Now I've got more air coming out here, and I usually, like I said, so I just drive by myself. I keep the air blowing on the side windows, keeps them kind of defogged a little bit. You're not going to get that much defog on these vents here. They did actually have them. It's kind of cool. It's kind of modern. You know, it's an 88. It a lot of cars didn't have this kind of crap. Trust me. Especially domestics. So, a little confusing there. And then what we'll do is we'll go look at the old school heat and air, which really wasn't no air back then. But in the old days, of course, and I'll probably just a generational thing, this is what you had. Oh, yeah. Very modern. <laughs> so, again, pretty simple you had airflow heat and then you either had defrost or you had floor which it doesn't even say floor you gotta guess one any vents not gonna be any vents I don't know when they start putting vents in cars really you know high-end domestic cars had vents back in the day you pretty much had either defroster or you had warm feet and then if you're really you know if you're one of those guys like me as a thinker, I'm going to go in the middle here so you get a little bit of both. Whew. Yeah, I know it. So, that's your temp control. And that just is really airflow shutting it on and off. Don't make a whole lot of sense. This is kind of a typical GM setup. And then you had your three-speed fan, which uh, normally probably only works on high on old vehicles. But, yeah, kind of fun. We'll see. See if everybody figures that one out.